especially in a lot of real life applications, vectors are often described instead of in component form or with a, an ith component or a jth component or something like that, they're described in terms of how long the vector is and what angle it makes with the positive x-axis. So you might have an angle of elevation of 30 degrees with a vector that's six units long. Well, that, that to us describes a vector, but now how would you take that information and write it in one of our traditional ways? Well, let's break this down into, into two different situations. If it's a unit vector, this is very straightforward. Uh, if it has length one, then we can get the ith component and the jth component simply from the angle. Uh, we know that the horizontal displacement would be the cosine of the angle. So it'll be cosine of theta i plus, and then the vertical component will be the sine of theta. So I have sine of theta j. And so this is how you would write your angle, I'm sorry, your vector, given a certain angle theta if it's a unit vector. Um, a quick example that I won't even write down, if theta was 45 degrees, well then cosine of 45 would be root two over two, and sine 45 degrees would also be root two over two. So your vector, your 45 degree vector that was a unit vector, would be root two over two i plus root two over two j, which is correct, right? So that cosine theta comma sine theta simply gives you the terminal point that's around the unit circle. Now, what do you do if they give you an angle theta, but your vector is not a unit vector? So it might be longer or shorter. Well, it's very simple. We're going, we're going to aim in the appropriate direction using cosine theta i plus sine theta j, and then we're simply going to multiply it by whatever scalar is desired. So we'll have, uh, I'll leave a little space out here out front, we'll have cosine theta i plus sine theta j. That's going to be in the correct direction. It won't have the right magnitude, but it'll at least be pointing in the right direction. And then we'll multiply that by a scalar of you know whatever magnitude we want the vector to have. So if we want it to have a magnitude of six, we'll just multiply that unit vector by a scalar of six and it'll scale it out uh, appropriately. So this is how we uh, write a vector given the magnitude of a vector and the angle of elevation from the positive x-axis.